Hi there guys, in today's video with TrueCut RD Works, we're going to be looking at setting your laser settings for the engraving prep uh, mini series. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Now, um, yeah, like I mentioned, we're going to be looking at the actual settings. Now, just a disclaimer, this is going to vary depending on the material you're using and the machine. So for the sake of this video, we're going to assume you've got not the biggest machine and um, you know which material you're going to be working with which in our case it's going to be a ply four millimeters so um if you do not uh if you're not using the same settings in that or the same materials um you will have to obviously do um, testing so i would say first grab a small little piece but it's a good practice is you take make a little square or rectangle with another little rectangle or square within that and the inside one you kind of make it the engraving so you can set play with the um, depth and speed and then the outside one you make uh, the actual cutout so then you refine that till it's through and then you only work on your project but now when it comes to this so if we select something so we've got our bitmap selected then on the right here under our control panel or system um the system what was it something panel <laughs> in any case we've got the bmp and the red color so if i double click the bmp we will be getting um, all these settings so the ones that we want to look at is kind of the um, speed the um, processing mode and also the power so the speed uh, what works quite well for this setup is about 120. we want to make sure processing is set to scan seeing that it's a bitmap or engraving and then the power we can set to i would say about 60. it's quite a harsh one but um that's a nice deep engrave and then i'm just going to say okay there and then when it comes to the actual cutout area now obviously um general rule of thumb for engraving high speed low power and if you want to cut out it's normally the opposite so for the cutout here we want the speed to be rather low so i'm going to set this to around 10. then the processing mode we'll leave that on cut and then the speed we want to go to um i mean sorry the power we want to go to about 65 seeing that it's a small machine it's close to its max power you say okay and then in many ways this thing is ready for cutting and engraving so we've set up the two uh, main uh, fields which is the cutout and the engraving otherwise if we are to head here to softwaretraining.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find the videos you're looking for just go here request a training video fill in the uniform and then we'll try to make that video for you but otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.